welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. NBC family, visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is be prepared what God has for you. Amen. Not what I have for you. is what God has through me delivered yes. a message Amen. to you. Right. Amen. That's but good. you have to receive it. Amen. Amen. If you don't receive if I give you a gift and you don't receive it, it's not yours. That's it. Amen. But if if you receive it, receive it from him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Still, he wants to bless you. Amen. And you know what? I haven't said this in a while. Don't leave this the way you came. Leave change. Amen. When you spend time with him, you don't want to leave the same way. Amen. You want to leave change. Man, I felt the power. Remember yeah. what last week we talked about uh -huh. later, later with the issue of blood? Yeah. Jesus in the crowd and the people banging all around him. But this lady, man, she was releasing her faith. She yes, said, if I could only touch the hem of, yeah. of his garment. Yeah. That was that was where her faith was. Yes. And when she touched Jesus, Jesus said, somebody touched me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you want to do on a daily basis. Yes. It's touching, Lord. I need a touch Amen. from you. Amen. I need a touch from you. Praise God. And you know what? He'll do it for you. Amen. Yes, he's doing for you. You know, say, hey, I'm God's favorite child. So you make people mad. Just let them know. Uh, you know what? I'm God's favorite child. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am. You know, we are. <laughs> Amen. For God so loved the world. Yes, Amen. Is. He sacrificed his son. So you're yeah. special. And start seeing yourself yes. and lifting yourself and calling yourself what the word of God says. Right, Amen. Right, right. Not putting yourself down. Amen. Right. So yeah. anyway, be changed by the word. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Before I get uh, more excited, <laughs> grab your Bibles, grab your yes. sword. Amen. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. So this is my Bible. I, I am, am what it says I am. I, am. I, I have what it says I have. I, I can, can do what it says I can do. Today, Today I'll, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be a saint in Jesus' name. Why? Because we're growing and we're maturing. In yes. Him, Amen. Yes. So you know what, <laughs> the enemy is busy. Yes, you, he is. We we talked about this before. The battlefield is the mind. <laughs> Man, your mind. You may be sitting here, but you're thinking cowboys. <laughs> you're thinking football. You know, hurry up, Pastor. And some of you going like this. Some of you going, you know. <laughs> but. We what have to, know? since we have to renew our mind and we have to get, keep it in control. Yes. I want to receive what God has for me. Yes, amen. amen. This is all the time, not just yes. sometimes. Amen. Right. So, whew, the enemy yeah. attacks the mind. The battlefield is the mind. It's yes. a spiritual battle. And guess uh -huh. what you need to overcome a spiritual battle? Yes. The Word of God. So, you know, yes. dust it, open it. And read what it says. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Right. Yeah, We're going to be talking about attitude. We've got a new sign up oh, there. It says what? Gratitude, gratitude changes what? Changes Some things. Everything. Everything. Amen. Amen. I've got a couple of slides for you. I got some freebies for you. <laughs> so <laughs> praise God. Let's get let's uh let's go let's get on go yes. and let's go with what God wants us to have. Amen. Yes. Today we're going to be talking about give thanks. Yes. You know, we take this for granted. Mm. Give thanks unto him. Yeah. We said, well, he hadn't done anything lately for me. He's done all he's going to do. Amen. He's still blessing you. Man, he's blessed you so much. Mm -hmm. But let's remember to thank him. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis. Amen. So praise God. Here we go. I wrote this for you so you can see it. I read it to you. Now I wrote it for you. It says what? Mm -hmm. Many Christians grow up in, in church. church. Amen? Mm -hmm. But never grow up in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know how you grow up in Christ? Mm -hmm. Study. Mm -hmm. Read. Meditate. Amen? That's how you grow up in Him, knowing Him. He knows us. Yeah. We don't know anything about Him. Well, Pastor does. Well, Sister so-and-so does. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, no, you. What do you know? It's the Word that's coming out of you mm -hmm. that's giving you the power, the authority to do what God wants you to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? So praise God. They never grew up in Christ. And they know hymns. Man, I could send you everything oh, in that Lord. book. But guess what? Uh -huh. They don't know they don't him. Know yes. Amen. Yes. I'd rather know him. Yes, that's it. <laughs> when I send people run back. <laughs> anyway, keep going. This is good. Mm -hmm. There we go. The greatest attitude is <clears throat> gratitude. 
Mm. That's the best attitude you can have. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let's remember this. Hey, I can I have an attitude, but you know most of us have a bad attitude. Oh, Amen. And that is not good. The next one. The next one says <laughs> a bad attitude is like a, a flat tire. Yeah. If you don't change it, it will never go anywhere. Yes. Amen. You'll never, never, never go anywhere. anywhere. Hey man, hey, I've got the nicest car, the nicest truck, <laughs> but if you got some flat tires, you ain't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You got a bad attitude, you know, but you better stay home and get yourself right, All right before you go out there. You know what? There's mean people out there. There's rude people out there. Yeah. But guess what? For God so loved the world, he sacrificed his son, and Jesus came, and uh -huh. he was sacrificed for them too. Yeah. Hey Amen. Not just for you. Mm. And he's using us. The church, the body of Christ, mm -hmm. to reach them. And how are they going to receive it? You know, you got to watch your words. You got to watch your actions. You got to watch what you do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because they're watching. Amen. Yeah. I've told you this also. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see uh -huh. or read. They're okay. reading you. And they're watching and they're listening. Yeah. What's coming out of you. Yeah. And as soon right. as you mess up. Oh, or trip. <laughs> you know what they're going to say? Mm, I, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. They're waiting. Don't give them the opportunity to say that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Just keep yourself straight. Lord, I need your strength. Every day before I go out, mm -hmm. Jesus did it, you know. I'm sure he did it every day before he went out. Yes. He knew what was facing him. Right. But you know, say, Father, I need your help. Mm -hmm. I need your strength. Amen. On a daily basis. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Let me see. Here we go. Release your burdens through giving thanks. Yes. And we're going to be talking about giving thanks. Right. Don't carry your burdens anymore. Yes, yes. <laughs> he says give them to them. Mm -hmm. Or you want to cast them. Whatever you want to do. But you got to give it to them. On yes. a daily basis. This is the worst time. They win the last days. Oh, boy. And if you never read uh, Saint, uh, mm -hmm. Timothy chapter 3. Mm -hmm. It says in the last days. It's yes. going to be bad. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we have a bigger God. Yes, Amen. we do. We have a bigger God. And Lord, I need your strength on a daily basis mm -hmm. when I go out. Amen. Amen. Woo. There we go. Lord. Give thanks. Praise God from whom all blessings come from. Yes. Amen. And sometimes we're just trying to reach him because we like the blessings. We want the blessings. All right. And forget about the blessor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we come need on. a closer walk with him. Amen. Yes. That's another good song, you know. A closer walk with Jesus yes. on a daily basis. Amen. It's not just it's not just a trial thing, you know. Don't come right. and sit in here and listen and pretend that you're a Christian. That's what will make you a Christian. Amen. Amen. What makes you a Christian is be Christ like. Yes. But now uh, Ephesians uh chapter five, verse two at one and two it says, Be imitators of God. Right. Amen. And if you're gonna if you're gonna be something, imitate him, you know. Just be careful who your children or who you are imitating. Imitate Christ. Amen. Imitate Him. Praise God. Anyway, give thanks with a grateful heart. And we're to thank Him on, you've heard this before, on a daily basis, not once a year. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for uh, Thanksgiving to give thanks. No, on a daily basis is Thanksgiving. Amen. Give thanks to Him on a daily basis. Yeah. Let's remember this. This is going to uh, grow us up. We need to, a lot of us need to grow up. Amen. Oh, boy. And uh, another word is we need to mature. Amen. <laughs> uh, next one. Mm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. John 3.16. Right. I've talked about this since this morning, since we started. John 3.16. For God, what? So love. so love the world that yeah. he gave yeah. his only begotten son uh -huh. that whoever believeth in him should not perish yeah. but what? Have, have everlasting, everlasting life. life. Mm -hmm. So God did it what he has to do. Sacrifice his only son. Jesus came and he was sacrificed. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he fulfilled. And before he was gone, see the father he says forgive him. Forgive yeah. us. <laughs> And you know what? Salvation is free. If you never heard that before, salvation is free. Yes, but we need to accept it. We need to receive it. Confess it with your mouth. Mm -hmm. Say it with your mouth, not with somebody else's. You know, mom, you know, through mom, through dad, you know, they confess me as being saved. No, you got to confess with your mouth. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. For God so loved the world, he gave 
Yes. So he's in the giving too. Yes, he <laughs> he gives, amen. He gives you. Yes. He blesses you to be a blessing. Yes, amen. Is. Believers should give thanks mm -hmm. to him on a daily basis. Next. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, this is another yeah. preview on John Matthew 6 33. But seek first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. If you don't know what to do, this is how to set your priorities every day. Maybe it's something that you want to on a daily basis. <laughs> seek him first. Because the world things are going the enemy is going to come yes. and he's going to use anything and any distractions yes. to knock you down and change your priorities mm -hmm. amen and if you don't uh have your priorities right and if you don't have your mind renewed with the yes. word of god you're going to fall that's it amen, amen. it's a spiritual battle yes, and if you're not using confession the word of god uh -huh. you're going to fall yes. you're going to fail it's not because of him. He fulfilled. He defeated yes, he the is. enemy. Mm -hmm. But the enemy is loose to mm -hmm. knock you down. Steal, yes. kill, and destroy. And destroy. Amen. It. So let's be careful. Yes. The next one. Here we go. First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. King James Version says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Yeah. In everything, give thanks. give thanks. In everything, give thanks. Yes. For this is the will of God yes. in Christ Jesus concerning mm -hmm. you. Amen. The next one. I like this one. It says rejoice sometimes. Uh, oh, Not when I get paid. No. Oh. <laughs> when everything's going right. All the time. It says rejoice always. Pray when I feel like it. When mm -hmm. I'm in the mood to pray. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Pray continually. Give thanks in yes. some circumstances. No, all. all circumstances. You know, you. Uh, I do have a slide here for uh, Psalm 18, 24. It's about, this is the day the Lord has given you. Rejoice in, be sad in it. No, be glad. Be glad in it. Some of us don't read that right. <laughs> we need to rejoice and be glad in it. Uh -huh. But you know, we have excuses because I have to go to work. You don't know what I have to go through. You know what the weather is out there? I can't have fun because the weather's bad. Whatever excuse you have, yeah. listen to what the word God says. First of all, he woke you up. Amen. Amen. If he woke you up, Lord, what can I do for you today? Amen. I need your strength. I need your help, Lord. Amen. And he's going to be with you. But I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it because God says so. If God is for me, who can be against me? Yes. Amen. Come on. Amen. It says, believers should give thanks on a daily basis with an attitude of gratitude. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Believers are called to be grateful and thankful people. Attitude of gratitude changes depressions to joy, frowns to smile. I have a choice. Yeah. I need to make this choice myself. Amen. I can make myself happy. You know what? Renewing my mind. Confessing the word of God. You know, it'll, it'll make some people mad. Because they want to see you down and out. They want to see you sad and not glad. Amen. Next one. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Psalms 107 verse 1 in King James. And then uh, Amplified says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his compassion and his loving kindness endureth forever. He's not going to change his mind. You change your mind. You walk away, and you stop, uh -huh. and you do it once in a while, no. and be part-time, and trial basis, and all this. No. But he's already made up his mind. Yes, he has. Amen. And he don't walk away from, me, from us. We walk away from him. Amen. So... All these scriptures that I have on uh, giving thanks or thanksgiving are not all the scriptures in the Bible for giving thanks. You know, you right. can just go on the internet and just type thanksgiving or giving thanks and it'll give you a whole bunch of scripture. Amen. We're just touching a few. But it's from the Word of God. Amen. Yes. Praise God. So here's uh, Psalms 118, 24. 
Okay, this is a freebie one. Give thanks to the Lord for he is what? Good. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times when we're confessing God is bad. God has put this on me. God is, uh, you know, being mean to me. No. You know? He can't be mean. He can put sickness on you. You know why? Because there's no, there's no, there's no sickness for him in heaven to give you. He sacrificed his son. He put it on his son. Yes. And that was good enough. And the yes. father was pleased. So we need to believe this and confess the right thing. Amen. Amen. We need to confess the right thing. Get it right. Yes. Because God has no sickness to give you. I've heard a lot of people say that. God has taken me through this. You know, God has put me through this and put this sickness on me to do whatever, you know. No. Why would he put it on the son and then give it to you? Amen. Amen. It's not good. It's not no bueno. <laughs> not Keep going. <laughs> not scriptural. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Another freebie. It says, sometimes we want to give no thanks way. to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5.20. It says, always. always. All the time. You know what? God is good. The Bible says God is love. Yes. yes. You know? So, he ain't got bad things to give you. That's it. So, it says, always, always giving thanks unto him. Yes. And if you don't have anything else to say or how to pray, well, I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to speak, Moses says. How about you? I don't know how to pray. Can you talk? Yes. Would we'll you say, thank you. Yes. Just giving you thanks, Lord. Amen. Thank you for blessing you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let's remember this. Keep going. Yes. There you go. This is the day which who made? The Lord, the Lord, Lord made. made. He says, have made we, or you can put I. You can scratch that and put I, or you can scratch the I and just say, Jose. And you can put your name on there. Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. No matter what's happening, no matter what circumstances are going on, I am going to be glad and rejoice in this beautiful day God has given me. The main thing is, he woke me up. That was the first miracle. I opened my eyes. Right. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He's in the miracle business, amen? Yes. <laughs> Let every day be a day to give thanks. And I wrote it. <laughs> Not once a year. Psalms 92 and 1 is coming. There we go. Give thanks. It is a good thing to give thanks yes. unto the Lord. And to sing praises unto thy name. O oh, most high. Oh, yes. You know, songs is just songs that you sing back to him. All these songs you know are songs. Come out of songs. Amen? Amen. And to sing praises. Amen. Yes. Uh, remember, we talked about this before. Paul and Silas, they were in the dungeon. Uh -huh. They got beat. Yes. yes and uh, you think, uh, if that would have been me, I would have been crying. Oh, I would have been complaining. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just coming to the Lord says, where were you? <laughs> what happened? Yeah. No. They together, Amen. they yes. sang and worshiped God. Yes. Amen. They gave thanks. And guess yes, what? He God heard. Yes, he did. God heard. Amen. And he came and re opened all the cell do uh, doors. Yes. Released yes. all their chains. Mm -hmm. Amen. The guard says he was ready to kill himself. Uh, <laughs> but he was born again. So his family. Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so guess what? He's using you to do the same thing. Yes. Yes. All them. All them chains, all them cell doors, people are being held behind, you know, yes. in the past, in prison cells, you know, mm -hmm. from the past, can be let go because of yes. your testimony. Amen. God using you to release them. Yes. Same God is using you. Amen. So he wants to use you, but you got to release yourself for mm -hmm. him to use you. Amen. Yes. Make, we talk about this so much, we have to make ourselves available. Yes, we do. If you don't make yourself available, it's not his fault. You're not making yourself available. I'm too busy. You know, when he's calling, we don't answer the call. He sends you little friend requests. <laughs> and you delete them instead of accepting them. <laughs> he's knocking, but you ain't answering. Amen. You know, he's no stranger. We, we, we treat him as a stranger. We treat him as a spare tire, you know. And uh, it's not good. It's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. And to say praises unto thy name. Amen. Give thanks and praise him. For blessings. For blessing us abundantly. John 10.10. 10. John 10.10 10 says the thief. Well you can put enemy. You can put devil. 
Or you can put a Diablo, whatever you want to put up there, whatever language you want. Since the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. He says, Jesus says, I have come that they might have they, you can, put, you can put your name there. Scratch yes. they and put your name there. They may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So why is Jesus putting all, why is God putting these things on me if he wants you to have an abundant life? Right. It's not scriptural. That's it. It's not right. So don't accept just anything somebody That's tells it. you. If it's not scriptural, you yes. have to know the word to recognize this is not from God. This is not from the Word of God. Right. And, and I, you know, I'm not accepting this. That's it. And I don't have to say anything. I can just put it on the shelf. Say, mm -hmm. uh -uh, I'm not. That's not for me. Where the enemy's telling you, nope. Say, go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Not here. It ain't coming in. I'm not receiving. That's a, that's a good yes. word. I'm not receiving. That's go. <laughs> okay. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Also, Philippians 4, 6, we started this last week on mm -hmm. Philippians 4, 6, it says, uh, be careful for nothing, nothing, but in everything, my prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. It says, yes. let your requests be made known to God. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, give it all to him. Mm -hmm. In everything, my prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Praise God. Man, this is good. Mm -hmm. The word of God is good. Amen. Just, right. You got to get in there and get in love with it. Read it. Amen. Say, oh man, I hate reading. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> you got to crucify the flesh <laughs> and read some <laughs> and learn some scripture. Maybe right. one scripture a day. Amen. You know, some people say, hey, I read the whole Bible. I read the whole Bible several times. But you didn't grow from it. Didn't do anything for you. Maybe I read it. So what? It's going to grow you. It's going to mature you. Amen. And when it gets in you, it's going to come out of you. Amen. It's going to change you. Yes. If if you know the word of God and you haven't changed, you need to get saved. <laughs> Amen. So, I mean, somebody need to hear that. We have friends. We have family members. We have all kind of people who see that. You know, how come they're acting their way and, and they call themselves Christian? That's a bad example. If you're a Christian, uh -huh. you will change. Yes. The Bible says in St. Corinthians 5.17, it says, the old is gone, the new is in. Yes. That means that was a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. I had a spiritual birth. I look the same. You can see me physically. Yes. But you can't see me in the spirit. Yes. And you can't see me in, uh, uh, in my, you can't see my soul, mind, will, and emotions. Right. You can't see. You can't see my soul. You can't see my spirit. Hmm. But you can see me in the flesh. And I'm going to start acting right, confessing the right things, and saying the right things. All right. And say, wow, you sound changed. And guess what? Those hanging around you yeah. are going are gonna to change. And they're going to just walk away. Because yeah. you're not going to entertain them anymore. That's it. They're going to go. You're not going to buy anymore. Amen. And you're going you're gonna to stop, stop acting that way and mm -hmm. living that way. And so guess what? They're going to go find somebody else. Yeah. But God is going to bring the right people around you. Yes, it yeah. is. Just remember this. God's got the right people to come around you. Some will yes. come for a short season, some for a medium season, and some for a long season. And that's 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 great. Praise God. That's a good thing. <laughs> that's a, a God thing. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, Psalms 1, 1, uh, 100. In mm -hmm. verse 4 it says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. And enter his courts, enter his courts with thanksgiving and mm -hmm. his courts with praise. Yes. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Yes. We're going to go over Psalms 100 in a few minutes. But this is uh, verse 4. Yes. Man, this is, this is, this is good. Amen. Praise God. So we need to rejoice and be glad and give thanks daily. We've said that quite a few times. We need to catch it. Yeah, we need to catch it. I used to play uh, baseball, softball. You know, somebody throw you the ball, <laughs> catch it. Yeah. Now, I, I want to catch the word of God. Mm -hmm. I, I want to catch it. Amen. Because yes. the only way that, that to grow from it is catching it. Yes. When you catch it, 
says when you fill mm -hmm. uh -huh. the overflow, you're gonna minister to people. Yes. Because yes. it's coming out of me. I got it. I mean I got I gotta I gotta mm -hmm. go somewhere and, uh -huh. and, and let somebody know. Yes. It's gonna drive it's gonna drive you. You just can't hold it in. Yeah, this is for somebody. I need to go speak to share with somebody. I have to go share. Mm. You just gonna you're just not gonna sit and be lazy. Mm -hmm. Believers, listen, believers should be the happiest, yes, most joyful people mm -hmm. on earth. Mm -hmm. But you see so many defeated Christians. Mm -hmm. Or so they call themselves Christians. Yes. But we should be the happiest, yes. most joyful people in the world. Why? That's it. It says we're too blessed to be stressed. That's it. But still we're acting defeated. Yeah. We're sounding defeated. Uh -huh. And we don't look happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you call yourself a Christian? All right. That's not a good example. We should be the happiest, most joyful yes. people on earth. Amen. Amen. And you could be this. Mm -hmm. And you know what? All those weights are going to fall when yeah. you decide to give them and cast them on Him. Amen. They say, you know, hey, you got a whole different attitude. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got the right attitude. Yes. Let them bad attitudes go. Yes. <laughs> Believers, we are the, we are too blessed to be stressed mm -hmm. or ungrateful. Yeah. When you know the truth and you know what He's done for us, and you yes. know the the truth says the truth is going to set you free. When you know what the Word of God says, it says the truth is going to set you free. Because you don't have to believe all those lies anymore. That's right. it. Amen. You don't have to believe what they say. It, it's not that way. That's not what the Word of God says. I'm not going to receive it. I'm not going to believe it. Psalms 103, uh, verse 1 through 5 says this. I'll read it to you. It says, bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Yes. Bless his holy, holy name. name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his all benefits, benefits. Yes. who forgiveth all your all iniquities, benefits. all sin, who healeth all diseases yes. and sicknesses yes. and yes. illness. Yes. You gotta Amen. read it. You gotta read it and get yes. it in you. Who, verse 4, who redeemeth your life from destruction, who crowneth you, <clears throat> crowneth you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Verse 5 says, who satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles amen so give thanks amen. because the lord forgives and forgets all your sins yes, he does. knows all your sins mm -hmm. confess amen. all your sins to him yes. i don't have to confess to nobody else That's i confess it. my sins to him amen. Amen. he knows them mm -hmm. but i confess it to him and say god That's it. confess I repent. Yes. Mm -hmm. He says he'll forgive and forget. Yes. Somebody around you or somebody you know is uh -huh. telling you he's not going to forgive you. Oh, it's not scriptural. Mm -hmm. What does the word of God say? That's, right. that's the final, that's final it. Authority. That's the final authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The word of God says he will forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. People you know may forgive it for a while, but they won't forget it. You know why? Because they'll bring it up again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll bring it up again, mm -hmm. and they'll just let you know. Remember what you did. Remember, oh, remember. Geez. Families are good for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they'll let you know. You know what? I'm a new creature in Christ. You're talking to the wrong person. I'm new in Him. I yes. have, I had a spiritual birth. Yes. Thank you. And we need to remember this. Mm -hmm. Say, we, you know, just listen to it and let it go. Yes. That's not me anymore. That's it. No mas. Yeah. No mas. No mas. So he healed all disease, sickness, and illness. If he does that, mm -hmm. some people try to tell you, uh -huh. God or Jesus is putting some sickness on you. No. <clears throat> no. Don't receive it. That's it. That's not scriptural. That's it. You got to remember, is it scriptural? Mm -hmm. Can you give me scripture for it? Mm -hmm. No, but somebody so so and so said it. Yeah. Okay. Well, who's so and so? <laughs> or pastor said it. Or whoever, still, can I have scripture? Right. No, I can't give you scripture. Okay, you know what you do? Is put it on the shelf. Don't receive it. Amen. Redeem us from destruction. He saved us from the pit. When you confess him as Lord and Savior, he's the Savior. He, we have everlasting life. And he's saved us from the pit. Yes. Or you can say hell. Amen. I'm not going to hell. Amen. And you don't have to either. And people around you, 
can be free also. Mm -hmm. So you have to make yourself available for God to use you yes. so that they can know the truth and they can be born again. Amen. Amen. That's and good. don't see yourself as not qualified. If mm -hmm. he's called you, you're qualified. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know there's a quote in the, okay. He doesn't qualify the qualified, he qualifies the call. Those mm -hmm. are called, amen. Those he calls. Call, call. Amen. So let's yeah, remember this. Qualifies the call. Call, yeah. Well, the me qualifies the call. And who's called me? He did. So he's going to qualify the call. Amen. He gives us uh, his love and kindness and mercies. Yes. His love and compassion. Yes. God loves you. Agape. It's called agape love. Agape love. There's like four different ag ag loves, okay? But agape love is the highest love. It's not going to change. He's not going to change. Yeah. Amen. That's the that's, that's the God love. Mm -hmm. Amen. So unconditional, yeah, yes. unconditional love. Unconditional love. Whatever situation, whatever conditions, unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And love and compassion. Yes. We need to see ourselves. We need to see people. Mm -hmm. That's through right. his eyes yes we need to see people with his love and his compassion mm -hmm. jesus died for all yes, so we need to see all yes. as needing to be saved mm -hmm. amen all needing to be saved not just judging them because yes. of what they say or what they right. do amen or what color they are uh -huh. no he died for all Oh, he didn't say denominations. He didn't say uh, color of skin. He, he, you know, he died for all. Yes, yes. So you know, yes, when yes. he speaks to you, and you see a person, and he says, "Tell him about me. Mm -hmm. Don't hold back. Mm -hmm. Share with them." You know why? Because they may be crying inside. I need to hear from you, Lord. I need to hear from you. I mean, I am going through some hell. Yeah. I am going through some hard times. And you know what? You're bringing that word they need to hear. And you held your word because you were afraid. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Let's remember this. Come on now. Yes. He gives blessings to us to be a blessing. If he's blessed you, don't go back. Be a giver. <laughs> be a giver. You know what happens when you give? You get more. <laughs> when you give... It's given back yes. to you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together. Mm. Shall, man, shall God put into your bosom? And so yes. you got to be careful. But Amen. we're to give, not just hold back and hoard everything. You right. know? God gave his only begotten his son. Yes. He didn't have to. And Jesus didn't have to give himself, but he gave himself. Yes, he did. And we need to be givers too. Yeah. Amen. Just remember, we can't take all these things with us when we go. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so be a, be givers, amen. <laughs> oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Give thanks for His presence in your life. The Lord is with us all the time in all situations. The Lord has never left us nor forsook us. Yes. He was with all the Bible he was that you can think of. Yes. But he's with you also. Mm -hmm. He says, I'll never leave you for a second. So why are we afraid? Mm -hmm. We need to know the truth again, you yes. know, that he's always with us. Always with us. And if Hebrews uh, 13 and, and 5 and 6, he says, let us conduct with, be, let our conduct be without covetousness. covetousness. Mm -hmm. says, be content with such yes. things as you have he says yes. for he himself has said he himself has said i will never leave you nor forsake you and you know most people that you know uh, that were sad or or committed suicide mm. say you know they were really sad mm. because they didn't feel like they were loved they, they felt lonely mm -hmm. you know and uh we don't have to feel lonely. Yes, Once yes. you know Christ, you know right. that he is with you. Right. And as believers, we should be the happiest people. Amen. If you know Christ, That's right. you should never see yourself uh, lonely because he is with you. And he's not leaving you. He's there. But you know what? The problem is not on his side. The problem is on our side. 
because we don't have, we're not doing our relationship with him. Right. He's ready, but we're not ready. He's ready, but we're not opening up. We need to open up. Amen. We need to step out in faith and, mm -hmm. and, and give it. Amen. Amen. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember Psalms 23. His presence is always with us. And he is the Lord, our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen. Yes. You can read that on a, on a daily basis. In uh, Psalms 91, it is safety of abiding in his presence of God. Mm -hmm. Read those two on yeah. a daily basis. You know, Psalms 23, Psalms 91. Exodus 33 and 14 mm -hmm. says this. Mm -hmm. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you yes. and I will give you rest. Yeah. Amen. My presence is always with you and I will give you rest. <laughs> We're going to be stopping. What else we got? There we go. Let's read Psalms 21, uh, 100 together. Yes. Amen. And we'll close with this. Amen. It says, Make a joyful, settle, settle. <laughs> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands. Serve the Lord with sadness. You said sadness? Gladness. Oh. <laughs> Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is bad. I need my glasses. Yeah. The Lord is good. good. His mercy, His mercy is Lord, everlasting. Lord. And His and truth is going to all generations. Man, this is awesome. Yes, it is. Amen. This is awesome. Right. We should, again, we should be the most happiest, yes. joyful people in the world. Amen. And you know, that will be a testimony yes. to the world. Yes, it will. Because... They expect you to be sad, doom and gloom, because of all the things that are going on. Oh, yeah. This is a negative world. And for you to stay positive in a negative world, you need Him in your life. Amen. Yes. That's right. It's a spiritual battle. Yes. And if you want to win, you got to have the Word in you. Yes, sir. And you got to have the Word coming out of you, mm -hmm. confessing the Word, speaking the Word. And if you're not doing that, mm -hmm. you're going to fall and you're going to fail. Yes. And then you're going to say, well, I don't feel God's presence. Mm -hmm. Well, you need you need you need to get yourself straight up. Mm -hmm. You need to get yourself in the relationship. Yes. Open up when he's knocking yeah. and not close. You know. Yes. So anyway, we'll close right there. We still got something to go, but still, Amen. Let's, uh, Father, we just thank you for your precious time, Lord. Thank yes. you for your precious word. Yes. Help us, Lord, to be there for you, Lord, and to grow and go for you in Jesus' precious name. Praise God. Some of you. We won't close until you have the opportunity. If maybe this is the first time you've never confessed Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. You know, all you have to do is say, I've failed you. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? Yes. You, don't, you won't turn away from me. That's right. Some of us are just at one step away Amen. from turning back and receiving Him. Yeah. So this is your chance. Amen. Amen. Those of you watching, those of you listening, receive Him. Amen. I, you know, when I first came to Christ, I used to, every time that somebody prayed, I would include myself for a, for a long time, and I still do sometimes. You run to the altar. And I said, no, no, probably <laughs> run to the altar all the time, you know. But that's okay. God knows. <laughs> and he won't hate you for it. But we know as you mature, mm -hmm. now it's your, your turn, you know, believe somebody. Through Christ, Amen. And you can do it because the Bible says you can yes. do all things all through things Christ, Christ, who strengthens you, Amen. If you're sickness in your body, experience any sickness in your body, the Bible says that by Jesus' stripes you were healed. Yes. He put those stripes on Him, mm -hmm. so that you don't have to go through it, Amen. Yes, yes. Just put that hand on your body wherever it happened yes. to be, Lord. Thank, you, Thank Lord. you. Talk to your people, teach mm -hmm. your people, Lord, and uh, and and heal them, Lord. And we thank you. Spirit of infirmity, we cast you out. We command you to go in Jesus' name. Yes. So we release it to go in Jesus' name and we receive your healing in our bodies right now. This is the temple 
of the Holy Spirit. And yes. we release our healing in Jesus' name. We we receive our healing in yes. Jesus' name. So praise God. Amen. So be healed. <laughs> Just say, I receive my healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, receive your healing. Amen. Yes. You have to receive it. Yes. So praise God. If it's uh, time to give, so you're watching or listening, <clears throat> you can go to our website, nbcbigben.com. And just hit that donate button and be mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. Amen. Thank you. God loves you and we love you. Amen. Amen. Amen.